And as the war in Ukraine continues, the Russian President Vladimir Putin is meeting for talks with Turkish leader Recep Tayyip Erdogan in the Black Sea resort of Sochi. The focus is on whether Russia can be persuaded to restart a grain deal with Ukraine, in which Moscow walked away from in July. The Black Sea deal has allowed millions of tonnes of wheat, corn and other basic food supplies to be shipped from the Ukrainian southern port of Odessa in the midst of the conflict. Let's take a listen to what the Turkish president said earlier. Today, everyone is looking at the grain corridor issue in Turkey-Russia relations. They are waiting to see what will come out today regarding the Grain Corridor. I believe that the message we give the world in a press conference after our meeting will be very important, especially for underdeveloped African countries. And joining me now is Avus Beydar, the editor of the independent news website Free Turkish Press. Uh, thank you so much again for your time. What is Moscow wanting to come out of this meeting? Well, the expectation of uh, Putin, uh, who can't travel abroad, uh, he was, uh, there was much talk about meeting with Erdogan in Turkey, but uh, he finally, they did, both sides decided to meet in Sochi. And expectations are uh, that uh, several steps be taken in order to the grain corridor be opened again, uh, is primarily the um, Rosklo Rosklos Bank uh, be uh, relinked to the SWIFT system and Toliat the Odessa uh, pipeline, Ammonia pipeline be opened and some Russian agricultural um, firms uh, be um, their assets will be will be basically uh, you know unseized. So these are the main uh, features of the of the meeting, and uh, that will be a tough call because uh, uh, Erdogan also has several expectations, uh, particularly of uh, postponing some uh, gas debt to Russia and also about the Akku nuclear plant in southern Turkey at the coast. So uh, this is a crucial, a very important meeting uh, for the future of the grain uh, trade or grain um, uh, exports from Ukraine, which will be feeding, uh, which has fed so far uh, about half a billion people, globally speaking, and also the Turkish side or Russian side will discuss very important part, which is Qatar being involved and backed by Qatar, one million tons of grain be exported uh, from the ports to Turkey and discounted price to be distributed to uh, possibly, as Erdogan mentioned, to poorer countries. Do you think the Turkish leader will be successful in convincing Moscow to come back to the table and sign off on another agreement? It may not take place in this meeting because uh, the, the, the conjuncture, the conditions are tougher right now. Uh, Putin feels the heat and uh, Erdogan is also struggling with economic crisis and uh, the, the, the stakes, the cards on the table uh, are also more than before. And uh, it may perhaps take uh, several more meetings uh, before both sides agree. Tension is increased, as, as everyone knows. Uh, and uh, it may be so that uh, there might be some lights at the end of this grain corridor tunnel, but uh, it will take more time. Now, the Turkish president has maintained close ties to Putin regardless. You know, Turkey, for instance, hasn't joined Western sanctions against Russia following its invasion, and it's merged as a main trading partner and logistical hub for Russia's overseas trade. But if this conflict continues, what impact do you think it will have on the relationship between these two men? Uh, as one can predict, uh, under the conditions, under the conjuncture, uh, these relations will be uh, unmoved, unchanged. Uh, they have a good report between each other. The key issue is, of course, uh, for Turkey, against uh, Russian expectations, may give green light to uh, Sweden to enter NATO. And also uh, one tension point was uh, between two countries, Russia and Turkey, was the 
uh, during the Zelensky visit in, in, in Ankara, Istanbul, uh, Erdogan released uh, Azov commanders uh, who were in, uh, according to agreement with Russia, kept in, 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 Istanbul, in Turkey. So uh, those are uh, t tense issues, but uh, they, these two leaders uh, who run their countries in an autocratic manner have lots of uh, common points and they seem to continue to agree on on at least uh, on you know strategic friendship not partnership necessarily but uh, friendship on on leadership level so uh, this uh, relationship will will be continuing uh, unless conditions change radically on the Ukrainian front Avuz Baydar thank you so much for your time